dangerous. Forward. Stepping racer, motor baruka, out of war. Listen, Jamaica. Razor, the art of war. We're there with you on next Thursday. You know, so the thing get busy again. <laughs> I'll tell you, the thing get busy, so I have to talk in between the, the advertisement them today. You understand? But we did not play this tune and we cut it because the advertisement them, so we will go forward to it. Queen Ivory. Change Africa. on the psyche and bear off for the children. Justice, the people, them want a devilly. Bruce Gold in a one thing, me a fit tell you, not tell no life, understand, make it short for you. Cause the people, them always get stunned on a free. You dare that thing, me want to tell. Bet of your sister, see. You really want to tell. Walk up and down and kiss up and hug up everybody. Me a tell you. Queen Africa coming through. But this devilly thing, me a tell you, man. Me a tell you, me a tell you, me a tell you. Watching the TV is like a drama, man. Drama, drama, pantapa drama. Yes, you know, them did have the, 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 the former prime minister upon the stand now. Them have the, the former minister of justice or, or minister of security. One of them, anyway. I don't know. I don't know about this thing, I know. I, I, I keep saying I don't know. I, I keep saying that. I feel that the money would be best spent to, to really facilitate the reconstruction of the infrastructure of... The infrastructure of, um, of Tivoli Garden. I feel say. Those money because the only thing I go here now, you know. Maybe I'll Christmas it not done, you know. Maybe I'll December, Easter. I mean, the only thing I go now. That's too much talking and long talking and go around the corner and come back around the corner and me not answer you and you not answer me and according to subsection A and subsection B, flat D, R, T, and I mean, enough things. You can't just imagine if me to lose all my house and all that something, you know, I mean, I'm still going to watch that. I mean, I say, wait, 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 oh, that's going to help me. Because really and truly, I'm not the people that want to find out. Oh, that's going to help me because the way it's going, you know, the way it's going, you know, it's just some little man that's still on the, uh, 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 well, woman and man, are still on the masturbate upon the law and a masturbate upon what should be and what should not be. But the reality, when it gets right down to the integrity, a food clothes and shells are the people that I work with. So, we're going to play this tune here. Aisha, now, she catch me with that tune here. You know, I will catch me ears. Not me. She catch me ears with that tune here. Trust me. Trust me. That tune here. Yeah. 
Yes, this is the man listen to this tune, I know. <laughs> yes, lady. Yes, I shall. Yeah, go on. Yeah, so with that, I uh, put this tune here with the sister me. I shall. And you have a whole heap of woman who uh, fit into what she has said. You understand? And can you know you have a whole heap of people then can't dress no post food, you know? When you see them around, them dress like why, you know? But it's when you go out the yard. Total different thing, you understand? And really and truly, you're all supposed to be a home. You're also just, just a house, a building, you know? it's supposed to be a home where your heart supposed to be your home, you understand? So, it's a very relevant tune, very, very relevant tune to how we see ladies right now look about themselves, but them surrounding, really and truly, is a disgrace. Just like how we see the man them, the man them not in the same position, you know, because if you see a man that eat, you know, him care, and him care look well proper. And then when you look, him throw out the, the, the star phone and the box, them and all the outside them care, with dirty up some asphalt road, you know. Because you know, when you throw something for asphalt road, it's visible, you can't not see it. And sometimes the man don't even throw it at the bush, you know. Even though we don't advise him to throw star of phone and back in a bush. I mean, if you eat orange, or a ripe banana or some fruit where you know they are disintegrated. You throw it in the bush and nothing. But when you eat, uh, when you drink all the box juice and you just go to a woman and throw it out of the bus, I tell you, the wickedest thing, you know. And the wickedest thing, Mr. Jamaican people, though, really, you know, is to take a drink of drinks or a box, a box juice and just, you don't see a bus a, a drive in front of the house, you don't see a box just fly out of the window. I wonder where them people they come from. So, this is time to make a serious observation and keen observation. So, here we go again. Yeah, enough girls they dance and wine and they house dirty. <laughs> them now have no culinary skill, all them do I eat our Kentucky. <laughs> Yes, I shall. You win with that one. Believe you me. You win with that one. So now, we we'll go to our next sister. Yes, so you know. Believe you me. I'm a personal little fr friend, you know. I'm a personal little friend. But after me boss her as a poet, now, me see she boss as a singer. <laughs> who we are talking about now? Keshima. So who are playing the studio by Keshima? Believe you me. And Gavin. Uh, Gavin as a singer. Hey, may I tell you? Last time you say, oh, I refem come like a little republic. And it's true. I refem come like a little republic, you know. It have all the things that can sustain it internally. So, Keshima Francis and Gavin, here goes. I'm trying to give my all to you. I'm trying to give my soul to you. I'm trying to give. My love to you Oh no It ain't working out It ain't working out Now, what I'm say is an internal thing, you know, because It's not only IRFM people that must sing it, you know, but all the producers <laughs> We are telling you No, we be group more, be like these people I'm not going to look at work like IRFM, you know, trust me I'm not going to look at work like IRFM Yeah, man, because things are going on like IRFM way it, it, it's amazing, man. Because Mr. Alec, you just come work down here, and him told big, big producer, we don't know how that person. <laughs> we don't know how that, that person is in the rest of No, I'm going to look at work down here, RFM. Trust me, man. Because I know so them, all of them people that are with the police, they are there five times, at least five times for the week. My little one day thing, and uh, middle night thing, I'm uh, going work out for me. Whether popularity or economically, I have to go figure out something. <laughs> All right. So, you're you a big man on your man. You're a big man on your already, man. You're part of the management. You're part of the, the big part of the management. All right. Here we go now. Catch him on your feet. Here goes. I'm trying to give my all to you. I'm trying to give my soul to you. I'm trying to give my love to you. No, 
no, I have a comment by them too, like Hey, Kashima, she sound like Katy Perry, you know, Rasta. <laughs> no, no, I believe you, me. Kashima, I was passionate. there. She sound like Katy Perry, bad. So, I don't know if that tune can carry a goat, so. Believe you, me, I'm not dealing with Gavina right now. I'm just the IRFM. That's not what Kashima has to know. No, Kashima, Kashima, no. Believe you, me. I'm trying to give my all to you. I'm trying to give my soul to you. I'm trying to give my love to you. Patrice Walters with the local and international headlines. Attorney General Patrick Atkinson has advised that Arthur Williams and Dr. Christopher Tufton are still members of the Senate and are entitled to take their seats. He gave his opinion at today's post-cabinet press briefing at Jamaica House. The leader of government business in the Senate, A.J. Nicholson, said he had asked for the opinion as the Senate had been thrown into limbo by the ruling of the Constitutional Court last week. The court ruled that the action of opposition leader Andrew Holness was unlawful and inconsistent with the Constitution when he used signed undated letters to remove the two senators in November 2013. Dr. Nigel Clark and Will Reed had been appointed to fill the vacancies created when Dr. Tufton and Mr. Williams left the Senate. Ms. Atkinson told the press briefing that against the background of the court's ruling, Mr. Reed and Dr. Clark were not duly appointed. The University of the West Indies, Yui Mona campus, says it is investigating an alleged attack on a female student on the campus on Tuesday. Director of Marketing and Communications at the UWI, Dr. Carol Edwards, has confirmed the incident, saying there is a thorough procedure that is undertaken when incidents of this nature occur. Meantime, the campus G2K group has condemned the attack on the student, saying it hopes this will be an eye-opener and the process to get the issues resolved will be priority for the university. The group's president, Caden Francis, is also calling on the university's administration and all stakeholders to make greater effort to ensure that those who live on halls of residence are safe. The female student was reportedly treated and released from hospital. 
permanent secretary in the Ministry of Labor and Social Security, Khalid Roberts Risden, says the Occupational Safety and Health Bill is top priority and will be tabled in Parliament during the next legislative year. The Factories Act of 1943 is the only law which gives some protection as it relates to safety and health for workers. Ms. Roberts Wisden said the Act does not cover the majority of workers as jobs have evolved. The OSH Act will replace the Factories Act and will have several added dimensions including the rights and duties of workers, imposing sanctions, compensation for on-the-job injuries. Ms. Roberts Risden said the purpose of the proposed legislation is to maintain high standards of safety and health at work while requiring an employer to create and maintain a safe working environment. In news overseas, experts say the drowning of more than 300 migrants in the Mediterranean Sea this week could have been pre prevented if better EU life-saving provisions. The EU's the UN's refugee agency, UNHCR, says more migrants are dying because certain rescue efforts have been reduced. Italy's major patrol and rescue operations ended last year, a smaller scale EU operation Triton took over. The UNHCR says about 3,500 migrants died trying to cross the Mediterranean Sea to Europe in 2014. In the latest disaster, more than 300 people drowned after the four dinghies they were traveling in got in to trouble setting off across the sea from Libya in an attempt to get to Europe. Finally, German Chancellor Angela Merkel has said a compromise is possible in the standoff with Greece over its bailout terms. But Ms. Merkel said, said she arrived for a conference with other EU leaders that Europe's credibility depends on sticking to the rules. Greece opposes extending its bailout deal, saying it is damaging the economy. On Wednesday, talks with other Eurozone members failed to reach an agreement. However, both sides said there was still hope for a deal. Those were the local and international headlines. Yes, we're there with you. You know, we went up Sunday, we did the outside broadcast and the Bob Marley Mausoleum there. And it was wonderful, I tell you. It was, it was nice, man. Trust me. People, they was nice and the ladies, them was sweet. But guess what? I never go so a place and see so much bleach. I mean, I thought about the back of you know, I thought about bleaching woman. I, I don't know if bleaching just reach up at that area there, really and truly, but no man them look nice, you know, but you see, it's when they bleach out now, it kind of make them look too speckled. You understand? Because, I don't know, I don't know. Well, it's it weird though, it's weird when you have to go through all them levels there. For the, I myself, you know, say, the only brown daughter with me no bleach work, I mean, the upper arm in front of the, in front of, um, the, the, the U.S. Embassy. You know, uh, uh, yeah. The only person we know with bleach, with brown, is a U.S. lady, a sister, where she, she, she collected cell phone up at the U.S. Embassy. But I go up a, up a, up a, up a nine miles that day, and most of the women them up there are some brown skin women. Some of them are wet and bleach. <laughs> Me think the, the purpose, well maybe I know that now, me think the purpose that it's, the, the, the bleach was to make your skin lighter. Mm -hmm. But me don't know, me don't know, me don't know Rasta. It, 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 it's a terrible thing. So, and you know, me next, me find the next thing up there too. You have a whole heap of twins and triplets. <laughs> I tell you, no, and it's strange, 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 it's me are uh, you look Mercilla, Mercilla and Loretta. Uh, so them call them near Mercilla and Loretta. Them interviews, the two of them look exactly alike. You can't miss them. They are twin. And they have a next man now, he my triplet. And they have a next double you have a next sister do, come to me in the evening over the arena fall and she say, see her sister over there so and the two of them look exactly alike. So why uh, you look all of these people, all of these sisters, in a nine miles who come out come hear the the outside broadcast and the artists them will perform. It was wonderful. I know say week after next we're going there a Brownstone Community College with this program. Yes, this program I go outdoor. Brownstone Community College. We are celebrate Black History Month with the student, the man the teacher them up at Brownstone Community College. 
and we why you know that IRFM will be in Belmont, Westmoreland to celebrate Black History Month. You know that program formerly called the Peter Tat Tribute. Now it is the Black History Month celebration and it will be at Belmont Academy, on the grounds of Belmont Academy for three days. Three days. So why are you look out for that? Because it's very important. Now you know say, this Friday uh, is in search of the man called eh? Jacob Miller. Yeah, in search of the man called Jacob Miller. So it's no things. But we want you know, we want you know, say Belmont Academy. The new venue is Belmont Academy, right? Just up, which part it usually keep, you know, and it's, it's now Black History Month celebration. It was formerly called the Peter Sass Tribute. So, why, uh, you know, this is taking place. And we're glad to see Samantha Kardashian as an outside broadcast for the first. I have never seen her as an outside broadcast. And I, say, I don't know if it's true, the, 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 the sisters, them up there, and she have a kind of resemblance, except she no bleach still. Well, I don't know. I mean, her face no bleach, but I don't know if she have bleach. <laughs> you know? But she, them look like her sister. Trust me, she could have just 15 up a nine miles there. Yes, so, who are you up to dance to them? I will play the student after the dance to them up there. Believe you me, me love them. Zachary, pump, 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 pump. Finally, an ultimate mission and just system that must be changed. No more must the innocent suffer. Uh, new rendition of our old music. This is the stepping raise of the ass of war. Every day I will confront the issues. You know, when we were on the program Thursday, Friday, another one of the excitements in that Jamaica happened, and what the excitement was that the the courts, the three judges them ruled that Saint Andrew of Oldness had broken the law, and also really go against the constitution of Jamaica by appointing, by not only by appointing, but by getting rid of two legal senators and appointing two other senators. The court say it is unconstitutional and illegal, unlawful, as I was the word is unlawful. So we see them having our sort of ring my row, ring my row, ring my row. And today we see the, the attorney general laying out the Attorney General's position on the Constitution and the laws of Jamaica and saying that the court, what the court say is what stand. Ravande, the line here, my esteemed brethren. My esteemed brethren, man, Mr. Samuel's attorney at law. QC. But Africanists, put that first up. Please, right. man, the people think it's just a lawyer thing. You know, the first right. thing is the Pan-Africanist. Pan-Africanist, QC, RTIS. No, RT. take out the QC. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, Queen. Yeah. <laughs> all right. We, we all understand we are going on the courts, you know. Yes. And I don't know if you saw the Attorney General at all. No, you know, I'm sorry. I don't have his benefit. I've been at work. I didn't get the press conference. You people in media get things fast, you know. No, it depends on the news. All right. In a your estimation, the judge them the, the the thing the court rules say the thing unconstitutional, the thing is unlawful. That means say uh, break the law. No, yes. my my problem with it can somebody actually break the law and do something that is against the constitution? And all is all, all you can say is that he must leave the position where means isn't there a penalty for people who break the law and? And, and do things unconstitutional. Yeah, there is true. Muta, there's a difference between a civil law and a criminal law. So the, 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 when they broke the law, it's not a criminal law. It broke the constitution. So it can't, it can't end up in prison. <laughs> no, 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 not the prison. What I say, so, so all he can do is resign then. Because really and truly, if it was in England, you'd have hear one of the laws, then resign. Yeah, to be frank with you, in England, it would be over. That is it. That would mm. be the end of his career. Okay, so so what do you think should happen now at this point in time? Uh, without being partisan, but... Yeah, but it's politics, you ask me a lot. I mean, which one of the hat them you want to put on? 
Well, any one of them will fit the, the, the situation you're right okay. now. All right, maybe the law firstly. Yeah. In law, he doesn't have to resign. So put that aside. He doesn't okay. have to resign. Yes. But in terms of what they call the convention, the practice, mm. the whatever, you know, as a leader, if you're found to be doing things that are wrong for the Constitution, which is the highest law of the land, mm. you may want to consider whether a court will describe you in that way. You're worthy of leading. Mm. Now, one thing he can do is he can, he can resign, but his party members may say, we want you back. See you back. Yeah, which is so not some people say. put in their resignation and you get re-elected. You know, like Muta, yeah, your, yeah. Your, your wife catch you red-handed and you say, boy, yeah. I deserve... Yeah. They leave me and she say, I'll give you another chance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, 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 so the judge, the, 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 the party can give him a next chance? Y yes, they can. They have. At least. But, 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 but wouldn't they have to now admit that he did something wrong and then, all right, he did something, like what you just said a while ago. But, but he got church to sat there and the Sunday and say that he apologized. No, not it's him. Okay. Not him. Oh, oh, oh. It's oh. party. Wouldn't to give him a next chance, wouldn't the party have to say, Well, look, you know, we know, say you broke the law and thing, yeah. but you are now, we'll give you a next chance. Yeah. Right. I have to respect Delroy Chuck now, because he, he's the yes. only one that come out and say. write a letter and say that you break the law, I think you should resign. And he is a JLP member, so yeah, yeah. I, I don't know how often, you know, JLP a party man do that. Yeah. people do that, yeah. break ranks. So yeah. I give some yeah. respect to Delroy Chuck. The rest are not that brave. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Within the, the context of um, what you call ethics, ethics, the the two man them who is now senators who who replaced the two man them that was supposed to be out of the Senate. Yeah. What is the what 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 happen now if those <laughs> two man say them want back them job? Uh, you, you, you well, I'm going back them yeah. job because they never did get fired in, in the first place. Yeah. Well, you listeners have to know that the Senate has a max of 21 members. Mm. 13 from the government side, 8 from the opposition side. Mm. So 10 people can't be, 10 senators can't come from the JLP side. Mm. So, I don't you know, musical chairs? Mm. <laughs> I don't know we play that tomorrow. <laughs> or who will appear in the Senate tomorrow? Is it the new two are the old two. Yeah. That is, and lawyers are divided on what is the current position. But suppose the four of them appear. Uh, 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 the, the, Senate, the president of the Senate will not allow it. It will not allow them to, 10 of them to sit. It will be unconstitutional. It will be breaking the law. It can only be eight. Yeah, but all right. But if the, if the, if the law says, mm -hmm. and the constitution says that the two man them is legally still senators wouldn't it be which two man oh yes uh, williams and top yeah, yeah it's still and they up they appear at the the, the meeting then yes i mean what the party the party itself why do you think the party can't do about it it won't happen i think because they are sitting the, do you think the jlp can can afford the embarrassment of 10 people turning up on Friday. Mm. That won't happen, man. Trust me. Uh, so, so and then we'll fix up that. So which two you think will turn up? <laughs> no, this is no. <laughs> no, no. You, you, you are open like a small lottery on that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take some wage on it. But, but, but let me read something to you, though. I know, I, know, I know your listeners may be interested to hear this. Mm. Section 46, one of the Constitution says, any person who sits or votes in either house, that is, you know, Senate or the lower house, knowing or having reasonable grounds for knowing that he is not entitled to do so, mm. shall be liable to a penalty of $20. $20 for each day upon which he sits or sits or votes. <laughs> you see, Ross? <laughs> so the Muradus, Muradus give them a thousand dollars and say, go on, let me just sit for 20 times. <laughs> there's a, is, is, yeah, is a that. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's because the law is so old, you know, the $20 yeah, $20, meant a lot 20 years ago. But. So that means that the man, them can't sit down there and just pay the $20 then? Yes, you know, but it, it's, it, it won't happen tomorrow. Though. In reality, you know, they're going to tie up their house. Yes. They're yes. going to sweep out two. Yeah. And well, who, who will remain? 
is a man. Well, there are people who say, listen, Williams has made his point. He showed the lead that he was wrong. Mm. He should resign. He should re- so yeah, yeah, yeah. Now resign. I just give him. listen, he should show you that you were wrong. Yeah, yeah. And just prove a point and leave then. Yes. Yeah. That, that may be what happens. But tomorrow is going to be very interesting. Well, it's very interesting to see what's going to happen, really. Believe yeah. me. Yeah. And one thing you must know about Mr. Clark is that the other day, they might have voted and him vote with it. With the other side, him not vote with the majority people. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, him kind of... Yeah. So, so something that we'll, we hope that people would more often do. All right, so what's up the Queen's representative now? Because he went along with it and the advice of the, the, the leader of the opposition, I mean... Oh, because the constitutional remit is that he nominates it, him tell the Governor-General that him want those men, and the Governor-General... So the Governor-General cannot... General cannot yeah, him can't say no, him have to go with the advice. Yeah, he goes with the advice. He will oh. never say no. He will never oh. say no. And him do have no, him do have no reason for call somebody to say, look here, this is that and this is that. Well, he will go now. The Governor General can call the Attorney General and yes, say, advise me sense. on this issue. Yeah. Me but him never and that advice that the Attorney General given, him send it to the GG too. But him never do it. Him never call. Him no, him never. him never call. He must give him the advice. No, him never call the Attorney General. Oh, well, who? Who never called? The Governor General. Oh, no. Well, at what point? At what point? No, all right. At the point I'm getting this letter. Yeah. I, obviously, him working out for the advice of the, 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 the Mr. Oldness. Yeah, and you would not know that, that these men had signed it years before. Him take them fresh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you remember, Muto, you, you, when, when you were young, you Muto, you never stop at the cheek yard, man, and buy how you lose. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Him shuffle the deck on you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah so, so, really so, is 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 him watch the man of the matter, then I find no fault in what is yeah, happening. Yeah, you know, they put them set, them set him in an embarrassing position. position. Yeah, 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 yeah. which is so unfortunate, really. Yeah. All right, yeah. Mr. B, I mean, you know. <laughs> One love, my brother. Yeah, so, the, tomorrow, the, tomorrow, you read it tomorrow? No, I'm not okay. on Thursday. But okay, I want so to fight. I, I mean, I'm going to look at my television diligently. I watch who great to see. Musical yeah. cheers. Musical yeah. cheers. Yeah. All right, sir. Give thanks. Oh, one love. Take yeah, care. man. Yes, for those of you who don't know what we're talking about, but it's a serious thing happened last week where the court um, ruled that the, 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 the dismissal of the two senators by Mr. Um, Andrew Olnitz is unconstitutional and illegal. And you know, him already had appointed two others there. So if those two is legal and constitutional, therefore the ones that inside there, to me, logically is illegal and unconstitutional. So there's a call for the resignation of Mr. Olness, but in party, except for one person, as we can see, is saying, we could hold him on upon him still because, you know, I mean, really and truly. But we remember a Hassan thing did happen. <laughs> Why well, I tell you the rest now, when you pipe your finger, you have to watch where your almost finger pipe back at you, you know. But remember the Hassan issue with the, the people, them, with the market thing there. It kind of sounds similar to me, but, I, you know, I mean... Nobody resigns in Jamaica. Nobody. It's either them go and come back again bigger and more powerful. But I know, say, I have watched, like, England is which part we get we, 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 we thing from. I know, see, the Lord, them, and the man, them, in the house. When something comes down like this, them just step aside as gentlemen would. But in a Jamaica, people just hold up and power no matter what. No matter what, you, them just hold on from power. I know, as an Englishman, it said, you know, Lord Acton said, power corrupt and absolute power corrupt absolutely. I mean, I tell you, say, them politicians in Jamaica, no matter how corrupt them is, you know, them not let go the power. The power is the power. You know, them not let go the power at all. Them are me, me don't know. Me don't know, Rasta. I mean... And the people them don't really understand where I go on. That is really the problem. The people them don't understand one thing where I go on in a freedom interest and freedom benefit. Step in, Razor. Yes, we're there with you. This is the Step in Razor. 
I try to come to grips with the whole heap of things, them confusion. We are going in the country. You know, we see one of the, I mean, you know, we all just say every week is something else. The thing is that when I left, I know, when I left, I don't come back until next week, Thursday, and the things them come like old news, but yes or no? It's still important that we understand where we are going, yes or no? No, a man in a wheelchair, a bus kill a man in a wheelchair, and them say, well, the sidewalk is not adequate enough for the. In, in, as a matter of fact, Jamaica in general no look out for, for people in a wheelchair. Now, when I look and see the place where the man is supposed to put him in a wheelchair, it's obviously he can't hold this up. The, wheel, the, 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 the light post in the middle of the sidewalk. Now, I hear GPS and say, the light post is there before the sidewalk. <laughs> so it's actually build them, build the, the, the sidewalk around the light post. That means uh, the road itself, because the road is supposed to have a sidewalk. I mean, you can't just make road now on the highway, on the highway now. And if the highway is supposed to have a place where you can have people walk on the side or overhead of them things, but the road is supposed to have a sidewalk in any city or any place near hospital or school. It's supposed to have a sidewalk. Now the GP I say it's a sidewalk. Bill after the road, the post go there. That means that the people them who make the road never intend for people walk on a the road there. We have to assume that. Because when we look at most of the road them right now, we have a big amount of people that walk. The light post actually in the sidewalk. It's not up on the side of the sidewalk. And you have your baba weave round the light post. For, for, for the way I do. And sometimes, you drive, I see people are walk from the edge of the road. And you have things say, okay, them not supposed to walk, but them not have no way to walk, really. Because the sidewalk, a, a, a congestion. No, me no no. These people who are build, build places, who is responsible for build it, and who is responsible for them, who contract them for build it, them not understand, say, pedestrian is a very important part of the, the road traffic. Yeah, you have pedestrian traffic, you have road car traffic, I mean, real and truly. When you look at certain of them places, you know, you can't walk on the sidewalk, you have to walk on the side of the road. And you have some man who have drive up and down, you know, and the way the car them are set here, so now, you know, when somebody a walk come up the road, you know, and you the pan feel them side, you know, believe you me. You see some people have to jump out of the car, <laughs> jump out of the car, you know. But there's a way to walk on road still, you know, you, you have to walk with the car where you come towards, you're facing the car, you can walk on the opposite side of the road where the car behind you, and you walk on the road and the car behind you. And we see some youth that do that now, them are walk. And them not only a walk spread out on the road. Them supposed to walk behind one and another. But through them attack and through them have this little this damn plug in them ears where them just plug out themselves out of everything. Them now them now hear the the on. Yesterday it happened to me, you know. Yesterday it happened to me. Some youth are coming down the road, you know, and it's like three of them in a line. But the line not behind one another. The line is be, beside one another. And the one who have him do, the, the back on him back, you know, him have two things in him ears there. And me a blow like hell, you know. And the youth nah hear, you know. And I when me reach down for the youth, you know, Rasta, him friend drive him out of the road, you know. That me I say, is where I go on. But you see, if the sidewalk was proper, that wouldn't happen. I mean, apart from Jamaican. People who walk is just totally irreverent when it come on to walk in the road, you know. It's like them see a white line for cross and instead of them cross by the line, them cross either way down at the bottom or up at the top. So them see a stoplight and a line cross the road, especially upon Kansas Spring Road, you have come along the road, you must you must stop where you have to stop. Cause sometimes you see the, the green, you know, you say, alright, no care no there. 
And all of us, you know, see a guy just run across the road. That's so weird. <laughs> you know, it's like... And then when you pass the stoplight now, you see a next guy run across the road too. I see a group of school youth that walk across the road like, okay, this is Hope Gardens. We can just walk and look. And over there is flowers and over there is the lion and the tiger. Like them, they are zoo. We need some organized thinking. Our thinking needs to be organized in Jamaica. And we not have no organization in our consciousness. So therefore, now it spill out in our whole life. We not organize. We not structure certain things. That is why a man cannot chew, and chew something outside the, 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 and there's no consequence for him action when he chew something outside it. There's a law for do that, you know, littering, you know. There's a law for littering. But guess what? Nobody take it law, that law serious. Because if the law was serious, when me and see a go on for Jamaican road, would never go on, believe you me. When me see a go on, I mean, I'm even not talking about in a country here, you know. I'm talking about in a city where the road as far as and the, and the sidewalk concrete up. When you look on the roadside, and when you look on the road, a human being I walk on the road, you know. Human being. And a dog, and the dog, them come out at night, and them hustle, but them hustle because human beings set them garbage in a way where them no set it and think, say, in the night, dog are going to come there and roughly it up. And then when we look at New Kingston, when we look at New Kingston, believe you me, trust me, man. Here we talk about the rat them in a, in a Bronx. Them, them see a, a, a 36 inch rat in a, in a, in a Bronx, in a, in a one foot locker, uh, shoe shop there. Well, them rat them down a New Kingston, no, they far from 36 inches. No. Them rat there. Are some serious rat who is responsible for these things who is responsible to see that all of these fast food restaurant and these restaurants on new kingston use what we call garbage disposal in a right and proper way who is responsible for those things what is the consequence of non-action what is it that you are liable for if you have a restaurant and you dump your garbage in a manner that will cause animals, human beings to disruncle the, 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 the garbage and cause the place to become like filth and rats and run up and dump on the road like taxi driver. You know, why it's terrible? It's terrible. It's terrible. Me don't understand who is responsible for them thing there. Because me know say if rat in my house and me responsible for getting rid of the rat. So me have to go look rat trap, rat this or rat that for kill the rat them. But when you have public area where people are disposed of them garbage in a manner that will cause rat to breed up and dog to overturn the garbage them. Who is responsible for them something there? Why is the government not taking a zero tolerance? When we say zero tolerance, we not talking about zero tolerance. Against these restaurants that is not disposing of them garbage properly and is infesting the place with rat. The rat them now hide, hey, them rat them run from you again, you know. For say you see a rat and you go to, huh? Them rather just stand up and say, well, you think to me, I'm a mama or I'm a papa, where well, you could have frightened them days there. And if you go so again, you could have just jump on you. <laughs> rat, rat. No. Anyway, we are call up on the people them. The people them will be more conscious of this littering and this garbage thing that is taking hold of Jamaica. And I read them and talk about Chick V and them are clean up this and clean up that. Jamaica don't look no different to me four months ago 
three months ago, two months ago, and it's the same way here. The place look with wool heap garbage and garbage and garbage, pants up and garbage. I see a man lay down in a some garbage and I lay down in a sleep. That means when I grow up, I would like be like him. Because nothing in the world no fix him. Whether the garbage round him, the sun will shine, or people will pass him. Him just lay down there and it's quite okay. No trouble in the world. But who is responsible for these things? Who is responsible for these things? The question is asked. Where is the answer? And the people them keep going on with them nastiness. Nasty after nasty after nasty. And don't realize say, Yes, as the sister said, some people go and dance, dress up like foot foot away go to the yard, appear rubbish and garbage, them play to and wash them this one and that, them no tidy them house. So if you know do that in your yard, you can know where you're gonna do out the road. Terrible thing. Yeah, that already be nice. Yeah, that already be nice. Use this one. Use this. Call Randy Valentine, man. This is the stepping race at the heart of war. You know, we don't see that shop out there, the littering there. And it's a very serious thing. I mean, you hear it on the radio still, but if you take a stock of the surroundings right now in Jamaica, you find, say, the amount of littering we are going, animals now nah litter that, that way there. And it looks like human beings that make it all difficult for animals, you know. Yeah, man. Yeah, man them. Sometimes some people I'll say, you angle dog like nice and you, my answer. But I angle the dog like how people you understand them with it. But dog have feeling that dog want food. Dog want for beard and all them something there. And dog want a place to live. And really and truly, you know, some people go on worse than dog, man. Yeah, man. Not only that them ways and man. That's why I hear you the man walk my dog. A terrible thing that, you know. When you hear youth kind of really reach a stage with the man call when I that dog. You know, so I want to see your problem of finding yourself, you know. And almost, sometimes it's almost like you have disrespect dog. When you call other people dog. You know, call, do you always see the man the people that go on here so no? It's worse than dog. So look after that now the rat them are gonna take over. Look more the rat them are gonna take over. You know? So I don't know which one you prefer to see, the dog them or the rat them. Believe you me. <laughs> Believe you me, the thing get away. The thing get away. And we need to take a stock. We need to take a stock. And we need to, to, to recognize how important it is that we take responsibility. And we have to take responsibility for the things that around we are in our way. We have to watch where we are eat. We have to watch where we could pick them and eat. We have to watch how we have with surroundings. Is it conducive for happiness and joy? Can you need some happiness around you, you know? You know, just you know, just want to live, you know. You have some people that say, Well, as long as me have life. Some people have life and are better than dead, you know. Yeah, man, because where them I got through is worse than death. Because you know the fear of death worse than death itself. Some people that say, about well, them just want to have life. Me, me not just want to have life. Me want to have life, live it and live it abundantly. Me want to have life that when me look at my brethren and my sisters, me can just feel happy and joyful and love to be around them and love to squeeze with them and say, yes, all you do, I know you not do. We don't just want to have life so that every day you get up, you're miserable. You're miserable in yourself, or outside, you look miserable. That's why you see someone that drive them way up on the road. Because you saw someone that drive on the road, you can't see him, yeah, he's miserable. And yeah, them they are miserable, and they come out on the road and show him miserableness for you, you know. And they say, as some man go and beat him, pick me, as some woman, and I talk about where, you know, you pick me, I forget beat me, because I pick the road. 
They suppose a man start beat a woman because the woman rude. How how that work out? Picnic forget beaten, woman forget beaten. No sir, woman no forget beaten. Picnic no forget beaten. You have some little people that say, well, you know the Bible says, don't spear the rod and spoil the child. Look, come on. Some man chop off picnic head in order not to spoil the child. We are saying, and it's very important. We can't go follow that. I tell it non apologetically. Because you see some women have boof them picnic and talk about where you come like your dirty pooper and all of it. You can't tell picnic about them come like your dirty pooper. They know you sleep with the man. The woman, the, 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 the baby come like your dirty pooper and you there lay down with the man and I sleep with the man and have sex with the man and all of it. What, what that say about you? That not say nothing about you. We need to correct certain things. And since the politicians them not do it, we have to take it in our own consciousness and do it. We have to recognize that everything that we do and everything that we say and how we behave relate to the next individual. Yeah, we don't just stand alone by ourselves, you know. We have responsibility to deal with certain things in our life. And we have to work it that way there. You understand what we are saying? Step in, Razor, the art of war. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, speculating in a sentence be hospital, may I tell you. I don't know what I'm doing there. They call, come out of the subregion, trust me. Speckles in a sentence be hospital, I want to yell more. So we are taking some call at 974-505-1974-504-3. I mean, I remember the rest of the number there. <laughs> oh, yes, step in. Yes, motor. Blessed man. Blessed man, Aslam in a motor. Yeah, Aslam, Dave Aslam? No, nah, man, the virgin I give the cancer, man. Well, give me the what? Calabash. Okay, okay. Uh, oh, yeah, from up on um, St. Elizabeth there. Yeah, man. Uh, it's like, when we lose the number still, God, we have a whoop of hockey to give you the motor. And eh? Yeah, I'm too many notes that you circle them in the motor. Yeah, yeah, the boy, yeah, yeah. Aki, yeah. Some good motor hockey to you, know, crazy hockey, man. Yeah. I mean, I no like crazy actors still, you know, because I'm going to pies me. No, what do I mean? Seeing, I'm seeing actors. I'm going to pies me. I'm going to pies me. Hey, with the garbage thing, no motor. Mm. You see, when we are Jamaican, brilliant people, like we Jamaicans are brilliant, mm. and we travel to foreign, because them thing, you know, them thing, you know, them thing, you know, the world are listening to the station, you know, and when they go foreign, you know, they might look for the Garbage country, don't. Well, I don't. I don't. I never hear nobody call it garbage country, but you know. No, well, in other mind, them say, oh, well. Well, we don't know where they mind still. We don't know where they mind, but we never hear nobody say we are a garbage country still. Yeah, well, them thing that them come here and see it for themselves. Still. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Stories them come here and see it for themselves, and you know when we travel, no one put up for them country. Mm. Yeah, them give you a plastic smile, but them know how. The situations, they know certain things set up a Jamaican. Because it's like it's a country without order. And, and, and the people you know, respect the country. Mm. It's like no progress in the country no more. No, definitely not. Definitely you not. See, if you don't obey the stop sign yeah. and the pedestrian cross, when the pedestrian people have to go cross and they don't obey the, 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 the incoming traffic, the green light, mm. and what your, your country backward. Of course. Uh, that, you that, know, that, in, Jap in uh, Japan, that, in a motor, although I've never been to Japan, but you know, you read up certain things on certain documentary. It's like, when the green light coming on, the, the, the cyclist, I'm going to come down at evening time or daytime or whatever time, you know, and the light is on green, you know, and, and red, you know, them stop and obey the traffic, you know. No, well, what you know, you see them places, if you ever do, if you ever go over that and don't do what you're supposed to do, you get a fine that, trust me, can we see all people who, I go in a train, you know. Them going in a train and them a line up, you know. Yeah. Them are going at the bus and them line up. 
They might come yeah, out yeah. of the bus and it's a certain. Me, me don't know, Rasta. That's why yeah, you, you, you can't separate third and, world and, from and third world. All of these things now in the motors, sometimes again, we can't blame the people, them. We have to sit down and look into it, can't get to it. Nothing ever start from grassroots, you know. Right now, if you build a garbage bin, you know, and put it in every corner, in every little town of Jamaica, the people them still pass them car. They don't grow to it and don't use to it. Jamie. It's not embedded in the people, man. To know, say yo, yeah, that's a culture. Yeah, this bin is right there. It's something you pass some garbage, but more more trash outside of the garbage that bin that inside. Yeah, cause the people them don't grow up with that civilization in them. But but why want to go a foreign with adapt to it, motor? Uh, and that's I that's why if you go no because when you go a foreign, everything in order is stop at the stoplight. You know you you get signal. I mean, really. Yeah, slow your down. Yeah, slow your down. Cause me been to Canada and England and yeah, man. Like, you yes, stop and stop light. Like, you don't uh, you don't you don't eat something and throw outside of the window. You could have never do that. Yes, you know what I mean, really. You could have never do that. Cause you yourself concerned for that street and for that country and for that yeah. community. You now, you know, cause you live there yeah. and you know the consequences. So you're concerned about it. But why we don't do that in Jamaica? I don't know. I don't know. That is a mystery. We don't know, because yeah. if you go to Canada, you have to live up to the discipline. Yeah. If you go to America, the same thing. England, the same thing. And you live up to it, too. You live up to yeah, it, Yeah, you know, adapt everything so quick. You need some zero tolerance for some of them things, every day. Zero tolerance. Well, I don't know around in this country still in about you need some, some simple little thing. Yeah. And some simple little thing we need to go back to the grassroots with a motor to straighten up certain things. Yeah, you know? yeah. Me think yeah, so. some simple little grassroots thing, you know. Because 2030, I don't know, we don't see nothing started. But Jamaica be the place to live, the business, and raise children. We don't see nothing started. Well, most of the youth, them say they want to live here. Most of the youth, them say they get part of the children to live here. They want to live here. Anyway, I call me, I call to me last. But they ask them. But they ask them. Yeah, but they ask them. Well, ask them, don't they know? Them oh, don't they know? I don't tell you to send them by email. I <laughs> <laughs> don't know who to tell you, them done, but you know, Calabas, she has beer up again and things. Oh, so. gosh, man. De don't, don't speak them average and hold them down there. Hold them. Here, sir. Yeah, yeah man, you know, you, you may have saved them for you. All right. You, you want the number, make me call you. Um, the reception is a couple of times, well, you know. Yeah, the I saw that. The past, you my number, because I'm leaving late. My number, give a lady when you cash in him. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but we don't know if you get it. Uh, no, no, left it again, left it again. Because maybe me never have like, recognize your name or something. Left it again. Yeah, yeah. man, God, you don't know fruits. Fruits have come round and... Yeah. Very, All right, and, sir. Wrap it move. And Wrap it move. And things have come round in a, in a year or so. Now, call and make you get... Yes. Thing, you see? All right, Regin, give thanks. Yeah, man, so... Yes, E.L. E.L. Yeah. Yeah, Muta. Yes. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, how are you? I, oh, oh, gosh, man. <laughs> now that I hear you, I'm quite okay. Yeah? Yes. Here yeah, we are talking about the garbage, man. The people don't know that. Well, may you know. I tell you, Rasta? Yeah. I mean, I like the plastic hybrid mosquito. Yeah. Yeah. And it I mean, no, I and like it not dissolve. It not dissolve. When I'm up on the beach, you know, I did for the back of them in a motor. Why don't I use the prisoner them to clean up the beach? No, but you see, now, you have pressure the prisoner them now when another prisoner them do it. No, but the people them, the you're supposed to, watch out, them supposed to, you see the people them were going to beat, them supposed yeah. to recognize them responsibility. But it's not them, you know. It's, it's not who, them. It's who. When the water comes from the, like, the, the river, it goes down in on the beach with them, with, 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 with the plastic bottle. Then, 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 well, we have to deal with the people them were going to use the river then. Yeah, it's them, them very nasty too. You have some people who use river silent, you know. Yeah, because then you a pump person, all kind of Oh, gosh, river. man, it's a terrible thing when you go a certain river, man. I mean, I say, yeah. You can't imagine me being down at the bottom of that river, yeah? And, yeah. Me, and never come up on the top. True. It's the thought of it, you know, because me still yeah. that already, you know. Me, me go over one river one day, go look some tumbrick, you know, over which probably. Yeah. You see, yeah. every stone when me has step on, you know. Yeah. A human feel, an animal feel the pan, you know. Yeah, a human feel, you know. Me have to say, boy, I'm not just walking at the water, Rasta. Uh, well, you cannot water. imagine you, you don't let your... You remember you know, the days when prisoners used to sit down and rock foot the tower? A broke stone. A broke stone. Yeah, a broke stone. In a white clothes. Yes. Well, you can't get them to clean up the beach. Young way. Okay, you want prisoners to clean up beach? Yes, they can't get them to pick up the back. Give them the correct to do. 
All right, ma'am. All right. Me, yeah, me no say no. Muta. Me no say no, you know, but me no think that the, the prisoner there is bad. Me don't prefer the prisoner and go plant some food and feed themselves. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Right now, me I mean, just dig one little yam in my yard. Yeah. A little yam? Yes, it, the last year I planted it and I dig it up back. But I don't nah get none then, because it's a little yam. <laughs> and I have to move it now and put it around the back. And the banana still there, I'm out of it. I'm banana beer. All right, Mama, give thanks. Yes, but... So, oh, St. Thomas and the Rain. Oh, St. Thomas and the Rain. It's a Portland. Oh, oh, St. Thomas and the Rain. St. Thomas, we get little rain, but it's it not uh, raining right now. Why, well, rain a fall upon my rain, rain enough, man. Rain a fall yeah, upon my rain. I don't know whether near Portland or the rain forest there. Eh? I'm going to be at Portland on um, Saturday night, you know. Saturday night? Yeah, man. I play music at Portland, man. What? But we are. We are at Portland. When we find it, I tell you. I show the thoughts and tell you. Yeah? Yes, darling. All right, mama. Give so thanks. Yeah, here then. All, All right. right. To, to my problem, I'm not come down, so, but tomorrow I'm at things. You, so. you sure say a chick me here? Yeah? No, I don't chick me here at the court. Oh, <laughs> come here, sir, yeah. take me here. All right. Yeah, I mean, I feel that now. You're not, you don't feel it now. I'm going to take the wallet for bush and so, give me any weed and so. All right, mama. You take care of yourself. Bye-bye. You bye. too, bye. Yes, I tell you, the, the, the chick me thing, they do a lot of bad, do you know? Yes. Okay, yes. Step in. Step in. Ah, blessed man. Blessed motor. Mm. Yeah, you know, so I shot me, me, I shot the man, the motor, I come out of my beer. Mm. Yes, yeah, so the thing we are going right on our motor. Which one are you thinking of? Which one are you thinking of? The people in need to clean up the country. You know? Then are the people in need to clean up the country. Yeah, the, the Mama Pia talked about Jeep. Oh, mama Pia need to put some people on the road, some little water, mm. to get the place clean up. Because right now, mm. the, Mama Pia not throwing a garbage on the street. And you not throwing a garbage on the street. Now the people in my bed. And everybody look forward to the politicians to do everything. Where we are though? Yeah, I may mean, I say, I mean, even though me hear them say them are clean up the place with the chick V thing, me not see no difference in the place since I talk about clean how much millions of dollars them spend. But me not see no difference in the place or if it's clean or cleaner. It don't look no difference to me. Last time I travel this parish right through from Mobile to Portland right through, and me never, me not say them not be cleaning up in me never yeah. buck up on a team yet. But then I part of St. James when I talk to many people about the mosquito, and I catch all the mosquitoes with them so I bring the virus. Mm. I show it to them and, and, and say, see the mosquito and them, so them are fog from last year, November, and now what? No fog in no go on. February, and no fog in no go on. I talk with the councillor, he said, get on to the people in my ministry of health. Mm. Nothing at all now. Yeah. Well, they, mm -hmm. them don't fog you now, something no. You have to go wait till, till, you know, so the place I get cool. Again. You know, so the place I get cool. I don't know your yeah. area, you know, but, boy, my area, all of a sudden the place just get cool, you know, but, I know fog, me see up on my yard. No fog. Okay, that's fog, that's fog, that's fog, that's fog, that's fog, that's fog, that's Tell me, that's fog. Yeah, yeah, but. Right now, still, you know, you see, you see, you have a good program, and you will, you will never try, although you've been doing it. Reach out to the people and ask the people and beg the people and to keep the place clean. Then I got me a day or something. Wait for the program starts, I got me a day or something. I got me realize that's why I'm asking your argument because I support your thing right through because honestly, mm. if you turn past every corner, every street, mm. a garbage. Yeah. Who throw the garbage when the people are living in the community? People. Yeah, man, are the people there, man. And throw it down the gully too. And then them ball, the politicians say, gully are flood. Yeah, yeah. Terrible, 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 terrible. Anyway, give thanks, Bridget. Give thanks. Bless her, bless her. Well, let's see it. Yes. All right. Well, sir, this is it. Click it there now. Click it. Okay, we're there. We're there. We're there. We're there. We're there. Exploring the issues. But on another level, you know them we're there. We're not really have the formalities that is designed for radio, but we know how to get across the message. We have on the line here Detective Inspector Vernon Ellis at the Era One Police Headquarters in Montego Bay. And this is not about scamming now. This is about technology and the technology that is so advanced that it reached Jamaica and Jamaica is now going to use drone technology for fight crime. So we want to talk to Mr. Ellis about this technology here because you know Mr. Ellis, good afternoon, sir. Hey, good afternoon, Muta. What? Thank you for having me on your program. All right. You know, my me personally, 
have a kind of ignorance. I mean, no, I will, when I say ignorance, I mean, me, 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 me naive to certain things. I mean, no, I will be listening naive to certain things. Too. But when I hear about June, all I can think of is America using June strikes in Afghanistan to kill people and to use it as surveillance to find out which part the, the Taliban they are, which part the Al-Qaeda man they are them really. Okay, now, so we see that we are told that Jamaica now is privy to this technology and the police is going to use the technology. You can explain to the people then what is it that the drone technology is going to do? Because we don't want the people them get frightened now. All right, Mufta. All right. Just to allay the fears of the public, uh, the drone technology is just an unmanned aerial vehicle equipped with cameras and other gadgets that will feed imagery persons on the ground. Uh, it will have other capabilities, Mufta, but we don't want to go too deep into the methodology of this thing. Mm. Uh, the drone... Our purpose of using it is to assist in the deployment of our patrols on the streets. Um, look at some high crime areas that the terrain is a little bit difficult for even foot patrols and vehicles. Mm -hmm. You know, we have a lot of unstructured communities. Yeah. So we look at the landscape of Jamaica and we say, all right, let's see if we can use a technology that will allow us to go a little faster mm. in solving these issues that come up. All right. On a, yeah. Yes? Yeah, talk, go on, talk. on a daily basis, we, 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 we see where um, foreign countries are using drones for disaster response, crime scene re reconstruction, crisis management. Like, like which countries? Up outside America where we know you We have I'm Canada, sorry. we have a lot of countries down in Mexico, I see where they have drones um, yeah. doing... For ganja, doing for look for drugs. Reviews, no, reviews of pipelines and okay. other countries use it because it's an inexpensive right. technology. Yeah. And, you know, it's it's you, and it's safe human being resources too. A lot of human resources as right. well as, you know, vehicles. All right. Yes. The, the, the drone is almost like a little remote controlled, like a little thing in the air, remotely controlled, right? They come in different sizes and shapes, and it can be controlled remotely or autonomous control. So you could actually use a iPod or some to control it. to control it. The drone operate it off GPS. So you yeah. could send it to a location, and the drone could go there. Return to the launch point. All right, explain to me now. For instance, now the, the, the high crime area, like I pin says, Spanish town high crime. You know, in a month it will be a certain area as high crime. You yeah. know, have some gunman a hide out. But how, how is it that the drone going to help you now if you track this the, these people in our area? For instance, you look for a man for a long time. How, how the drone going to find out? which part of the man is there and track him that you can say this is which part of the man there. How that work? But if I tell you that no more that the guys listening to your program, they are going to come up with some strategy to offset what we intend to no, do. You know, it would be like yeah, yeah, giving away the secret. methodology of what we intend to do more. Okay. I can tell you though yeah. that the, John, the Jones have endless possibilities, you know, and we're looking at the crime situation, especially in year one, where St. James is mm. a concerned here, and um, we intend to use this technology to the advantage of law enforcement to protect the citizens. So you mean, say, what? You, you mean, say, you, you may, may have to go re refer to my television you now, figure, figure it out, because we see that every day upon television, you know, with drone use, we, we track people and all them something there, and we, we see the mythology where them use, so you have to say, you yeah, know, so I say, I better just go and watch the TV. Yes, I'll give you, I'll, I'll, I'll allow you to use some of the open source. I don't want to damage the technology. Yeah, me, I, me understand, me understand, me understand what you say, me understand what you say. <laughs> but, all right, for the, for the normal Jamaican then, him do have to fear anything in relation to... No, you have nothing to fear. As a matter of fact, the Jewan has the advantage of creating transparency, public confidence, because the, the account can be verified. For example, we're doing a drone operation and your account versus the account of the police. That can be verified. 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, by, because, by the pictures where take all them really. And, and you know, Mota, that's where we are going down the line of transparency and restoring public confidence yeah, and yeah. The trust, you know, so. Yeah, it sounds good to me, you know. It sounds good yeah. to me. The only thing is that certain things kind of, kind of get out of hand, like Tivoli, or Tivoli get out of hand that the, the, the high authorities send the police them out there to do our work and then the police them take it upon them head and do other works. And then we see we are a transpire that so now where we see seventy odd people there and know you have to have inquiry and all them things there. So the drone, even though we understand the level of the drone and how it can help, you know, quicker and faster is a technology. But we know say also that the drone can be equipped with certain things that people start to buy. Just like all the people them did say they might bomb a drop in a Tivoli and nobody said nothing like that no go on. And the minister well, never had I'll tell through. you something. Mm. Our proposal mm. will have carefully crafted rules and stringent oversight to protect the civil liberties of the people of Jamaica. You, so, can, you can't tell with somebody the, 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 the rules? Or is that another secret, that? Well, well um, Mota, we'll have, we'll have the policies as, as outlined. Mm. We, when, when the access to information that we have will allow the public to understand basically what these rules are. And you can't tell me now then? You can't tell me now? No, Muta. So uh, we're in the early stages. Okay, okay. Of the All right. Way. So, so I, I am told that it's only one of them and man are in the sky drone are going to operate. Well, so Muta, I can't give you much details and logistics yeah, around but it. it I just new want to allay the concerns of citizens who might be wondering what type of technology you can look, look on the YouTube look on a lot of open source yeah but when I ask you something with on tele, on television and in the news says one drone they're going to have for this, maybe six months time and then after a while they're going to try to get some more and something where it's a secret it's well, well maybe, maybe I, I can't correctly answer that question right at this point okay, okay, uh, I okay. just can't tell you about the technology because yeah. I'm, I'm just you able to explain the technology to you, you know? Yeah, and you know, you, 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 you know, you can't answer the point of the expansion of that technology in terms of... No, I, I couldn't. I yeah, couldn't. and you don't know the, if, if it one going to be in Montego Bay or one like in Kingston or... I couldn't. You couldn't tell Just a proposal, Mota, yeah. like many other proposals that police and other mm. law enforcement agencies come up with to reduce the crime rate. So, so basically... We are saying that we cannot do the same thing over and over and expect the, a different yeah, results. Yeah, yeah, we get the same results all the way. Yeah, so, yeah. so we're trying new advancement of technology to help law enforcement. All right, I, want, I don't, want, I don't yeah. want to stray from the point. What's happened to the, the, the body camera them that the police them were supposed to be in? I, I, I couldn't, couldn't speak on that, that I just <laughs> came here to tell you something about this, John. Yeah, 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 yeah. As, as a policeman, you don't know nothing about the camera thing, from the body. You don't know nothing about that. Yes, yeah, so you, you, that's you don't know nothing about it, or you don't want to talk about it. Tell me. You have to get an next resource person for that. Okay, okay. I came prepared to speak. Yeah, yeah, I understand. But sometimes you're yeah, prepared for something and something else come up and you have to answer it to still, you know, so it go. Anyway, yeah. we don't have pressure you still. We don't have pressure you. So you have to know that you, 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 you have any idea when this thing going to take effect? Or you couldn't say that? The, the proposal for the, 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 the training of yeah. this is yeah. a six-month proposal. Okay. And the, the, the operative word is proposal. Okay, okay. All right, can I uh, all right, can I ask you a question, sir? I mean, please, I really want some answer. How high these things fly? How much feet? Like, it fly like I'm, uh, 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 it fly like a um, passenger jet, like 36,000 feet, or it just fly like a helicopter where don't go as far as 36,000 feet? Uh, but uh, you I can't tell me that neither. You have the program, but <laughs> these things, they, they're built with different capabilities, Mota, so it's I can tell you yeah. which one would fly at what, but... These unmanned aerial vehicles, yeah. they, they have different, different. capabilities, yeah. you know, based on what they are built for. So, you know, it's just like a car, you know. Well, you're specific, no? You're specific, you know. We are telling you about specific as that. You can't get a T out of the man when you're hiding it. Anyway, that's how it go. Anyway, give, right, give, give, thanks, give thanks, sir. Give thanks. It was great talking to you. Yes, sir. Drone technology. Give thanks. Yes. Uh -huh. All right. <laughs> For those of you who don't know what we are talking about, there is drone technology that is going to be introduced in the police force. For those of you who are familiar with the war we are going on in Afghanistan and them places, drone technology has been used for years. 
And it is also used in certain countries to fight crime and to detect certain other things. Now we see that it is reaching Jamaica. It's a good thing. It's a good thing because it helps the police and it helps for, for really prevent certain unnecessary confrontation with human beings. You know? So, we, 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 in that case, it is good. For me, but our next level now, I understand how these things can be used. And even though it can be used in the benefit of the police force and the people, but it can also be used against the people. You understand? So, we just hope, say, it's not one of them things where turn out good, but end up bad. Because I hear the man say, if you keep doing the same thing the same way all the while, you're going to get the same result. And we don't want doing this different thing, different way. And the result that we get is really the obstruction of the rights and liberty of the Jamaican people. Okay. So, click it. Click it. Yeah, the time is 16 minutes past the hour, 4 o'clock. We're there upon the stepping race. I try. Let's figure out the things then. Yes, Eel. Eel? Hello, Muta. Yeah, bless it. Yes. You were talking. When, when, uh, <laughs> The ladies, man, we did big up some time ago about your journalist. I mean, that big interview with the nurse. Oh, yeah, 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 I remember, Miami. I remember, I remember, right. yeah, yeah. You listen to this, you see? The, the police gentleman who called you a while ago. I was just a mechanic sharing you, which I had to back off. I was advised and called the back, so I'm doing so now. Mm -hmm. But when you, when you ask him a certain question, you know, I smile because I know that is where he would, he would put his feet down and say, no. Now, as a retired journalist, uh, uh, myself, is it? Mm. Certain questions. If you ask any questions of anybody, fine. Yeah. But automatically, I can, I can, t I could have told anybody which one the guy would answer whatever. I just ask them. Mm. You understand? Because the whole idea, for whatever reason, you know, reason, is why can't tell that to the public, to outside the public, and not authorize to speak, so the person will minimize their response to say now what yeah. their own judgment and training yeah, yeah. And, and what they know blah 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 but as a journalist every reason right to ask any question of course it is the person being questioned who must judge how much you can say uh, how much you can say but, yeah because sometimes you say too much you lose your work you get mm. suspended yeah yeah the yeah. job before a board you know what I'm saying yes so so I, I just laugh but we have a call still I, I will call touch me with you I want to give you a little bit of technology for example, and then you know some of them too. The I have muta that the person who made the cell phone, created it, designed it, did so only forty four years ago. Yes, it was there. You know they do a lot of research. Yeah, it was a long time, yeah. In nineteen uh, July sixth, nineteen seventy one. And I want I just call it because I want young people especially mm. to be aware of what we as a people have done and which is hidden deliberately and we also don't pass down to them directly either. Yes, yes, yes. All right, and of course, you know about the refrigerator and yes, air conditioning of course, of course. Yeah, man, and the helicopter yeah, and sewing machine and peanut and butter. Right, all them stuff, right? Peanut butter. <laughs> yeah. well, I mean, it's, it's 300 times like a car made. Yes, yes, yes. And, and the, you, you know the pecan nut and you love nuts, right? Pecan, yes. yes. Yeah, it, it is 75 different types a person made from a nut, you know, so. Yes. Yeah, and 175 from potato, ice yeah. potato, or yeah. whatever, sweet ice, whatever. Yeah. 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 So the whole idea is, the young people must get to be sort of thing. And they will, when they have more, I don't want to sound away, but when they have less nonsense in our heads, all of us, we can just speak more sense, you agree? Know? Of course, of course. Right. Mm -hmm. So that is why I call you a person of your items. Hopefully, you tell this thing, and we then buy it. They are listen, man. School, eh? They are listen, man. They are listen. I'm more you right, to that program. I know. It's a school you with them. So, yeah. I leave you that I won't believe by the point. All right, right so? give thanks. Give thanks, brother. I don't know what I'm going to tell you. I'm give you something. All right, give thanks, man. All the best. Yes. Yes, step in. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you hear me? Yeah, man. I hear you loud and clear. Ah, uh, I say, I listen to the radio from a command. I hear any skill that people you can enjoy today. And it's like never... From a come down in a Jamaica, we don't hear none of the music play. You know? Mm. Then you're all leave to them, man. You're all leave to them. Yeah, but what may I say? 
the Jamaica, me here, they advertise the Jamaica Broadcasting Commission advertise the no P.O. law. But, can't they make a law? Can't they make a law now that where these jackets aren't allowed to be producers? I don't know. I because don't know. Well, you, you, you don't want this jacket to produce, sir. Well, either you have this jacket mm. or he's a producer. Because so, so, what this jack who's a, so what happens that this jacket is an artist? An artist? Yeah. What if you can't corrupt the system? Oh, so, well, the producer will corrupt the system. Yeah. The, this jacket and the producer, because they play them whole thing inside the real station and who independently are putting them in. Can't get it clear. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, say yeah. the producer. If the disc jockey is a producer, he wants yeah. film product play, so he will keep playing film product. Yes. So it's a corrupt system right there. Uh, so yeah, say them should have passed a law that way there. Yes. Well, maybe you can't, you can't maybe, it, it's a question for Agnes Mr. Green. Uh, uh, even, even, even the station manager, a producer, they don't allow them thing there. Okay. All right, well, I know the, I know the program manager. I know the program manager listening right now. So, yeah, the program the biggest, manager listening. The biggest corruption in the music. When the producer I play, I play music on radio. Yes, when the, this jack is producer. Mm. The All right, biggest so corruption. It's something to think about. Nobody talking about corruption. Yeah. Nobody talking about this corruption. Z yeah, producer corruption. This jack corruption. Yeah. Uh, and they are the gatekeeper because they are the part of the culture in tool. What's yes. the biggest part? All right, sir, we hear you. We hear you loud and clear. And so, I hope the producer... Oh, the, to Andrea Williams no, you want to know. What me say? Me say. Yeah. She'll listen. All right. Thank you, sir. Yeah, she'll listen. Yeah, and she, because you know, some yeah. work on that. She, she, it needs to be a She's the pants up on me all right now. So she'll listen. All right. Give thanks. Dear Bridget. All right. Bless it. Yes. Okay, the man making statement clear and loud. Can't fight it. Yes. Yeah. Yo. Yeah, Muta. Blessed. First of all, I Yes, sir. I give thanks for this blessed moment. I want to greet the people in Radio Land, mm. greet Jamaican people in general, and specifically the rest of our community. I did. I know some persons do know the voice as they hear it. Maj, uh, some haven't Maj. heard it for quite some time. Maj, yes, who live in Ethiopia, yes. But there's uh, this uh, issue which is of great concern to I, and I must say that um, I must remember the words of Majesty, uh, and I divine Majesty, Ali Selassie, who says, we must become greater than we have ever been, mm. larger in spirit, greater in outlook. Yes, yes. and many of us know that speech so you should visit the speech and read it and understand it mm -hmm. and apply it to our present situation. Mm -hmm. I am using a mobile phone, so I know I have to speak quickly because before credit run out on me and I don't get to the issue. Yeah, the main reason for there's, a pro there's a program going to come on at 4.32. Uh, You're going to come on at 4.30? There is a program that's coming on at 4.30, so you have to talk quick. That's what we are saying. Okay, okay. The issue of drones that you just raised with that inspector mm. is one of concern, deep concern to I. Uh, basically because I've been there in the east where I get the news live and in living color showing how collateral damages have continued to bank upon each other regarding Afghanistan, Pakistan, uh, Somalia, um, Sudan, uh, Libya, Yemen, Libya. those places, Libya and those places, right? Mm -hmm. um, recently, it has become known that lots of collateral damages are occurring amongst populations and there is no accountability for this. For this reason, Jamaican people must not allow the drone program to ensue without question and without ensuring advocacy for accountability laws. Laws set in place to hold the police to accountability in the case where collateral damages are done. Yes, it is highly important for this thing to take place. I noticed you spoke to a lawyer earlier and your question was to Mr. Samuel was whether can someone break the law and be left alone? And Samuel did say that, well, 
the such person should not be left alone. And he said there should be some kind of penalty. He referred to the Constitution and said that such person should resign and the penalty, as he read it, would have been $20, which is nonsensical in this time. We don't even have a Constitution. What we have is an order in council, which is an issue also. Jamaica should have a different kind of uh, constitution that gives the people right to hold their politicians and their security officers to accountability. Jamaica doesn't have that. Yes? We don't, don't play around with words and don't play around with issues. Let's talk them straight. Jamaican people can get dead off by hundreds, by thousands, and there will be no accountability. So let's talk about the drone program in context and tell people to research this. There is a particular media program that I listen to, One Press TV, and people can go online and access Press TV, access their archives, mm -hmm. and learn about drones and what has been happening right. concerning these well, drones. All right, hold on and hold on and hold sister. You have drones for different purposes. I know that. You have drones where detect, you have drones with surveillance, and you have drones where is equipped with ammunition. Yes. All right. So you, you have countries that have drones where help for do certain things that is not equipped with ammunition. The reason why yes. I was so touching with him is that I am saying that I hope that these drones is not equipped with things outside of surveillance cameras because we know what can happen down the line. Don't hope. Yeah. Don't hope. Advocate for laws to be put in place for the accountability of the operation of these systems and for the knowledge of the kind of system that uh, Jamaica is going to have in place. When I say hope, you know, my, my, my saying hope to him is to say, look here, I hope it is, uh, it, it is not happening. It's not going to happen. That means uh, I just hope in true faith. Yeah, but you I am say true faith. No, I never said true faith. No. People must ensure yes, that yeah. when this system goes in place, it is one system that is going to protect the Jamaican people. Uh, Don't leave it to them alone. Yeah. It's time Jamaican people Advocate. get up on them backside and start to deal with the issues. Uh, all right, we have to and move, Mama. We have to move. Are. We have to move. Here, give thanks. We have to move. Right. All right, yes. This is the step in razor. Sister just come out of Ethiopia to get fiery. To fiery. Okay, click it. <laughs> Welcome to Music News. It's Thursday, February 12, 2015. I'm Monique Price. Don't criticize me. During the month of February, Jamaica's number one radio station, IRFM, will host several events to celebrate Black History Month. IRFM will end the celebrations on the weekend of February 20 with a massive weekend previously dubbed Peter Tosh Celebration, now called Black History Month Celebrations at Belmont Academy in Westmoreland. Speaking this morning on the wake-up call, IRFM's program director, Kabu Atkaru says the event is a never-before-seen weekend of celebrations. She named several activities that are scheduled. New location, new format, new theme, new vibe. Life has shown some challenges and we're rising to the occasion and we're invited to come participate. Listen, Renee, one of the things that's happening is that we have changed the venue and we've been talking about that for a while since yesterday. We've changed the venue for our annual trip in Westmoreland and now we have also changed the focus because what we're doing is wrapping up Black History Month in a massive crescendo. We have never seen anything like this. It's three full days of activities on the cliff, which is a Friday. We are doing our symposium and a lecture and a coming together of students and teachers and communities in a Black History Month tribute. Being a the doctor, we'll be delivering a lecture at that time and that lecture is dedicated, dedicated to Peter Tosh. But on the school compound for that day, it is a symposium, a Black History Month symposium. We're having a festival of drums. All of this is taking place at the Belmont Academy in Westmoreland. And we hope that day to, to, to end the Saturday 
you know, for Naya Bingi, Firelight, Round it, but something really great. It's a crescendo we're talking about, you know. Mm-hmm. And then on the Sunday, we're rolling out again big time. The entire IRFM crew, we're rolling out with the Africa Forum, Moto Baruka, myself, and the entire IRFM team. And we're talking about a massive team, a style with the Big Bad Shockwave. And we're rolling out to the Belmont Academy once more. It is a culmination, a climax of our Black History Month celebration. Kabu also explained that this celebration will be na- be like no other because of the meaning behind it. What we've tapped into is what the Emperor Haile Selassie has challenged us to do, which is that we must be more courageous, we must become something bigger than we have been, we must be more courageous, we must be greater in spirit, and we must be larger in outlook. For this Black History Month, you have never seen anything like it. It's going to be an African marketplace. So you're going to see on the grounds of a school, set up, display, African fashion, African food, African culture, African artifacts. It's a grand market, a grand African celebration on the Sunday. And the Sunday especially is going to focus and feature a lot of these on the ground. We're broadcasting live all day Sunday. RFM will continue tomorrow to pay homage to some of Reggae's greats with a live on outside broadcast in Mandeville. Digital Chris will go in search of his big brother, Jacob Killer Miller, with a special tribute from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Jacob Miller was a Jamaican reggae artist who first recorded with Clement Dodd. While pursuing a fruitful career, he became the lead singer of a reggae group, Inner Circle, with whom he recorded until his death in a car accident at the age of 27. DJ Major Mackerel lost in a clash with Gullibop last night at the weekly dance Weddy Weddy Wednesdays in Kingston. In an interview with Music News, Major Mackerel tells us that Gullibop was selected as the winner in a biased environment. He also said the lyrical war between himself and Gullibop is on. Last night, today, I'm ready, ready, going back to DJ. No, to be frank with you, last week, I can't start with two Japanese killing over Bagwak there. Eh? And them have a look of vibes to say, well, I mean, to be a to my DJ, I'm go for the mic, and he make a speech, and I eat mackerel, and he no eat mackerel and bread. So, right, you know, me and him supposed to do a look of thing, you know, because I this him, I this me, and when he go for shoot off, I am him win, and him win in a biased crowd, a biased environment. I'm ready, ready, and me I take no props for him to win. Now, anywhere, anytime, any place, we see me and him buck up is a musical confrontation. Because, you know, going back no bad like me to O'Neill. He just get a bias crowd last night and him win. Right now, the war is on with Major Mackerel and Gully Bop. You have to find your Gully Bop. You can't run, but you can't hide. Efforts by, mu- efforts by music news to reach Gully Bop proved futile. Party fans, draw close or turn your radio up for the 411 on what's popping this weekend. On Saturday, February 13, 2015, Heineken will host a child's 12th anniversary, Black and White Affair, a night in Paris. The event will be held at Altra Ballroom in Paris, St. Anne. It will be hosted by I Octane and features Dexter Daps. Music will be provi- provided by Ashal, Nico Bam Bam, Nine in Badness, Illusion Sound, and Interceptor Sound. Admission is $800 pre-sold, $1,000 at the gate. VIP, $3,300 pre-sold, and $3,500 at the gate. On the international scene, the tension between Diddy and Drake remains high after their fight in Miami. Drake's longtime mentor and CEO of Rap A Lot Records, James Prince, recorded a warning track titled Courtesy Message that blasts Diddy, Suge Knight, Lil Wayne, and Birdman. On the track, James Prince called Drake his family and later said, quote, Puffy feeling like he can put his hands on my family, open the doors for his family to be touched. You reap what you sow, end quote. Prince also described himself as Lil Wayne's worst nightmare. Sources connected to Jay Prince told TMZ this has been brewing since Diddy punched Drake outside Live Nightclub back in December. <music> Celebrities celebrating their birthday today are Cotty Ranks, Frisco Kid, and Stevie Face. This then music in 1989. 
Aretha Franklin lost the court case against Broadway producer Ashton Springer, who sued for $1 million when Aretha failed to turn up four rehearsals for a stage show. That's the full 100 in music news for today, Thursday, February 12, 2015. This is the stepping razor. <laughs> uh, it's uh, Jamelia coming through. Yes. Yeah, hey, man. Step in. The technology where they are being come. A good technology, but I'm not sure if you're ready for that technology yet. Why are you feeling them not ready? Be- because you see like a chick, I'm not a chick because you see the technology are weed and bring it come from me. I'm not going to lie. When you say weed and bring it come, or, 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 what do you say? What do you understand? The weed we are planting our hills them are sitting and eat them co- them being come for. Oh, oh, oh your weed, oh the ganja. Yeah. The ganja man, yeah. You see, you see what I'm not looking to it and I say, why? Because Jamaica and our country where be a while ago and them sitting up in our hills and so some man in the camp out and make their own regime and their own war team and their something, you see me? Yeah, but them you live in a country where they're not war to, you know, still, you know. Okay. To serve people, but as you say, no, your your theory is that them bring it for the ganja. Where they bring it for the ganja? Serve the ganja because why? Because they want have the control over. I mean, you know, they must they must say, they must say you know, they must have someone who are planted to feed them, you know. Okay, okay. So they want have the control over them, man. They will know, so you know, they must see everything who are going, who are planted illegally, and who not planted. That we Okay, so anybody who are planted illegally, them just know so well. The yeah, they don't scoop yeah. down from them and you say, yeah. Yeah, all right, so that's a theory still. So, yeah, yeah. We can't fight it. We can't fight that. Yeah, man, they're looking to it, man. More blessing, though. Yeah, blessed, man. Yes, yeah, step in. Mota. Yeah. Yeah, just recently, may I hear them talk about this television that they do television. Samsung. The Samsung. Yeah. The Samsung television, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I have written a poem about a good. Two months ago, I touched on that dollar thing there in the motor. And I want to touch the point, at least if you allow me. Why not? Yeah. Today I'm spying on you. Everywhere you go, out in the street, down the avenue, up the lane, even on the highways and the byways, they are spying on you. Your cellular phone, the television, your laptop and other gadgets, they are using to spy on you. But I ask the question, why? Why they must spy? And I come up with a little theory. It's a group of spy guys set out on a mission to gather information on all the population of every nation. And they put it in their database. And that's how they do their interface. They give us all a number. But even Chancellor Angela Merkel of Germany said she thought she was an ally. But on her, they must spy. But you know how long Muta Baruch have been telling us that they must spy? And I believe Muta. Muta is no lie guy, no a spy guy. As a matter of fact, I don't think Muta is any kind of guy. But I lost the father, man, with a lost the father. And that me understand. But uh, we need not worry, we need not fret about them spying. What we should be doing is living in love, stay close to nature, good will conquer evil. So whatever they want to use, even if they want to use them spy glass. Let them move them. That's the fire. All right, blessed man, give thanks. Yes, brethren. I shock out them spy. You don't know why them are spy. Yes, them still lie all the while and make people cry. Some even die. Mm-hmm. I beg you, take it to the master. Yeah, yeah. Because it's never too late to start over. Uh, somebody did ask which part in a postman we over there Saturday. Yes, our Rashford place. They are all spice grove, fury ill. Yes, all spice grove, fury ill, Portland, Rashford place. This Saturday, we're there up there playing music. Yes, yell. Yell up. Hello. Yes. 
Yeah. Good afternoon, Motor Mom Roka. Good afternoon, ma'am. Yeah, it's my pleasure talking to you. I want to talk to you a long time. Uh, so where did that stop you? Can't get you, man. You are yeah. so busy. All right, ma'am. <laughs> yes, I have an issue, Muta, that I want to talk to you about. Mm. I went to the St. Anne's Bay Hospital. I took my dad there, Muta. And they have my dad there sitting on the chair all night. And in the morning, Muta, I asked, they, they said the public ward is full, right? I asked them for a private ward. They said it's 15,000 a day. I said, no problem. After the consultant come, he said, no, there is no space on the ward. So I said to him, are you going to discharge my dad? He said, no. So I said, my dad going to sit here, 80, 80, old man going to sit here all night again. In this kind of condition, the floor is dirty. There is no bathroom to give him a shower. Muta Baruka, the hospital is a disgrace. Well, you know, so I wouldn't have know. a dog. Now that I learned the condition there, yeah. I would have sent a dog there. Well, you know, so most of the hospital now is the same talk and the same problem everybody have with the hospital. Eh? I don't know where the minister or uh, the ministry are do to really reach yes, the because I'm that. saying to myself, Portia Simpson, need to go down and these walls, these hospital and have a look. No, if you go down, she could actually bow with other people on the floor, so... <laughs> <laughs> no, Mota man, it, it, the condition there is really bad. Yes. When I say bad, Mota, it is so bad. And when I want to take my dad out, they're going to tell me that, no, it, 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 I can't take him out because he's not discharged. Not discharged. So, and I want to take home my dad to give him a bath and give him something to eat and stuff like that. So where they know? Where they know? I took him out, Mota. Oh, you take him they could have stopped me. <laughs> I never did make my dad uh, yeah. subject to that kind of condition. I mean, I tell you, I mean, that is the cry of the whole Jamaica right now. Yes, yes. Yeah. That's the cry of the whole Jamaica. Yeah, I was it. there the all night motor sit yeah. up. Yeah. And between the night to the morning, at four person died. Well, you know, so you have children there, and their mother arm up at children's hospital too. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, children die in their mother's arm up at children's hospital. Oh my God, Mota Baruka, this yeah, country yeah, don't know yeah, what is yeah, happening. Yeah, yeah. And you talk about St. Anne's Hospital, you are going to have KPH. Jesus Christ. But if it works, if it works, then St. Anne's, I don't want to know it. Well, I never go to St. Anne's Hospital yet, but boy, if it works, then KPH, I don't want to know it. Yeah, it, well, I'm telling you, it's bad, and if KPH is worse, trust me, I don't want to know it. And you hear about the, 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 the ones where they're at a, a, a Spanish Town Hospital, a wait. The same wait. Yes, yes. Yeah, so old people dead, but the same thing about them are wait. Mota, I saw a man in, in St. Andreas, he said he was there from the Friday, Mota, and I was there the Sunday night. Mm. And he keep on having a seizure. And each time he has a seizure, he dropped out the wheels here. They just yeah. put him back in and nobody pay him any mind, Mota. Him drop out of the chair and put him back and make him stay. They just put him back in and ask him what make him want to stay in the chair and the man <laughs> have a seizure. When he comes <laughs> on and he Mota, he was he just shaking like leaf, he can't control himself. No, I don't want to laugh, you know. But wait, wait, the way I say, the man drop out of the chair, he have seizure. And then put him back in the chair and go, we're not staying in the chair. <laughs> yes, Mota. Believe you me, I'm telling you that. Tears come to me high motor, I don't know this man, but when I see as another brother yeah, and as yeah, another yeah, human, human being, when I yeah. saw it, motor, tears come to my eyes. So, I can ask you something about your father now. Which part your father, they at home now? Yes, he is at home. Well, maybe the 15 thousand dollars that give them, you should get a little private nurse to come look for him occasionally. Yeah, what I did, motor, I take him to a private doctor. Okay. And the doctor said he don't see the reason for him to, to, to be admitted. Okay, all right. So him daddy home with you and everything, and you look after him and all. Yes, man. Yes, man. Yeti, yeti, yeti. Well, I hope him to 50 more years. I'm telling you, man. All right, mama, give thanks, <laughs> yeah. Yes, Muta, and I really admire you, and I really like to listen to your program. All right. Because you're just a straightforward person, just as I am. All right, give thanks, give thanks. Give thanks, Muta. I mean, I tell you, why is it that, if, well, you know, say, sometimes I hear the public are complaining about things and people are them complain. But there's no, from, from KPH to Children's Hospital to Mandeville, 
to St. Anne. So much people care around Rasta to Spanish town. It's where I go on in the, 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 the minister, Elder No said this. I mean, then I did when the man dead, them run, go over Spanish town. You know, I mean, people are dead in the hospital. Not because them sick or something, but because them are weak for help and them now get the help. Because them did not get the help. That is the none of them politicians in now go to them place, you know. You know, see, them just fly gone to Miami when them have a cold or diarrhea. When them have a diarrhea, them go, them go to Miami go get rid of the diarrhea. You understand? We have to search as a bush and we go to a man and then when none of that work, no, we go to hospital and we reach the hospital, we can't get service. So we have to go back to the Obia man and we have to go back to check guinea weed and all sort of weed and all them something there. And them now just fly go to Miami, first class. And I me have to pay feet to you, that has hurt me now. Man like a Neil have pay feet and Neil can't even afford certain things, you know, and Neil have to pay for big, 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 big politician for go, hey, them wicked, you know, that's that. That's some dangerous people, them man, dangerous. All right, so, we, we really sorry for them people who oh, really have to go through them that. Mr. My Bridge, you know, I keep your pictures already. I'm asking them to bridge You can't stay there, so you know. Okay. Yeah, you're listening to Jacob. Them call him Jacob Killer Miller. Well, right now we have him bred up on the line, yeah, so may I tell you, it feels sweet to say we have Jacob Miller bred up on the line, this man. <laughs> Jacob Miller, brother, how is that? Big up, big up, Musa, what's happening? <laughs> what? How did you find out, say, Jacob Miller, brother? Actually, um, it was after my dad passed, and Mr. we were doing some research on my dad. Mr. Elian. Uh, yeah, and yeah. then when we um, Google the name, mm. like I was saying on the bus last night, my sister was the one who found out. Oh, yeah? And she, said, she called me and said, guess what? You know, but I had heard that before that yeah. he was a cousin. Oh, and he's not a priest. And we heard that um, nature is a cousin too. And um, what's his a name? Mu that looks that style, you know? A musical, a musical family of the man. Yeah. But yeah. I tell that tell me a long time, you know, say, if you think he's a brother, you have something else coming, you know. You know what I mean? Mm. But I never really take that none still, you know? Your brother is a brother, you don't know. Yeah, so, you know. Maybe she a scandal in the family. I know, we won't go down that line. <laughs> <laughs> no, is that something I repeat? Is that something yeah, I repeat? On, on doing the, um, the research, mm. in regards to um, tomorrow's presentation, yeah. you learn a lot of things, and, you yeah. know. So, where you actually, where you, where you, where you, where you in search of Jacob Miller, where you actually have to go? Um, actually, Jacob Miller is an icon, you know. Mm. Unlike Dennis Brown, Bob Marley, Peter Touch, they have celebrations. People know about them, but yeah. people hardly know about Jacob Miller. Yeah. Even in Mandeville, some people didn't even know that he was from New Green. Mm. So tomorrow, we're going to highlight where he was born, the house. Yes. And, yeah, I spoke to some elders. So you have a broadcast from the house in Bandy, that's what you're saying. Right, right, so right. So who owned the house they know? Um, a Mr. Reed, Reed family. Okay. Him not, him not related yeah. to you? Ah, uh, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. We don't know all these questions. You know, we don't know. Because it's all, you know, your sister is your sister, but you never know. Your brother is your brother, you never know. You know, never know. Yeah, because even, um, even with me, to my other brothers and sisters, mm. you know, it's a bridge in the mind. Uh, one of my sisters knew, um, when she used to come down to Otrius on holiday weekend. Mm hmm and then she heard that she had a brother in Ochi and she asked him, you know, DJ Chris, them time there, DJ Chris. And him said, yeah, man. In father I worked so and so and where, you know, and mm. say, yeah. Mm. And that's how the connection was made. Yeah, and then yeah, the yeah. that we had, like yeah. other brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. you know. So, so you're going to have other relatives of Jacob Miller on the program tomorrow? Uh, most likely. Well, most of them are interviews. Okay. Like uh, his son, mm. Taki. Okay, yes, yes. Yeah, and a um, couple of more people, you know, we, we, we did the interviews already, and like in best friend and stuff like that, you know. Okay. People who were around him, like from the early days, like in first recording, Delroy Melody, 
and some more people, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And also the first person to um, inter um to record him, I should say. Bunny Striker Lee, you know? Yeah, <laughs> Bunny Lee, you watch. Hey, watch out. You have to watch when you talk to Bunny Lee, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I watch a body league because I refer to some dollars already, you know, but I said something man make a man soon station. But me, him, me have him inside that one night, you know, me I tell you, say, me have to really watch when man say everywhere part of the way, you know, because I'm not easy to tell you who are who thief, who are who are rabble, you know. <laughs> yeah, but the truth still, you know. Yeah, but the truth on the radio, the truth on the radio kind of hurt the radio still, you know the way that? All right, yeah, so you have you a knock, um, you keep on knocking on the tune where, um, Striker Lee, they, 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 they produce with him. I will have more than one still. But yeah, and I have some pre-release, some that weren't released. So well, well, we'll strike a gear, we we'll strike a gear. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, strike a give people tune uh, two years ago and make people please have pre-release, you know. <laughs> yeah, man, them, them one are just mix up, just, just mix. Yeah. All right, so yeah. what time it is again? Tell me what time it is again. Um, well, my program starts at 10, so we're going from 10 to 2. Yeah, so tell me something now. Wait, me, all right, it's the first ever year, like outside of Dennis Brown, outside of Bob Marley, where you'd have a, a tribute one time for Gregory Isaac, uh, the, the, the music keep stage show for Gregory. You know, now we see a radio station say, all right, we're going to recognize our next artist, you know, and you go hear it, so now you're in brother. How oh, oh, do I feel about that? Yeah, it's great, you know. Actually, it, it's also a part of history, Black History Month, you know what I mean? Yes, yes. So, yes. it's more history. Yeah. His story, my story. So, you know what I mean? So, it's you have any, you have yeah. any perfect as where him used to have, huh? you have any, what them call Melo B, Melo B, Melias, um, so, so, souvenirs, Mr. Tunga Twist. You have any souvenirs where him used to have, like a shirt, where him used to have a, uh, you know, anything when you used to have, like him eyes uh, shoes, and you used to never be like, no, 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 to be frank, no. You know, no. so I know him, me, me, well, me don't know him, know him, but me, me used to see him when he come around the Axel Road, um, in I'm eyes, you know them tiny platform shoes you used to wear. He used to yeah, have yeah. him eye up from platform shoes. He used to come around the um, Talent Corporation there, where, where, where the only power used to gather around the Axel Road, so. But okay. is that is a youth where do some strange things pants true? I don't know, but there was a concert down at um Negril. You have both about eleven band on the beach you know, and him did a perform and him has sing one tune and him take off the policeman hat. <laughs> but the sleep and could move, yeah, I heard about that. Yes. Him take off the policeman hat and put for female you know, and tell us the wickedness they ever seen her at all. The man take out the policeman and jump up on the stage. Believe you me. But Jacob Miller, one of the great artists of Jamaica, we're glad to see a radio station recognize the validity yeah. of really coming together now and really say, yeah, make we really remember this man up on another level. And to see that he's in brother now, I'm going to do an outside broadcast. That is really something else. Yeah, because not only that, you know, when, when I went to Mandeville, mm -hmm. first, to speak to some people, <coughs> A little horse. Um, the people are saying, yeah, it's a long time this song, now we're not hearing nothing about it. So they're wonder what I'm going, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. And even the now owner of the house, he was proud to say that, you know, he was born at the same house where Jacob was born. Okay. And he was thinking of doing something, you know? So I want to link up with the family. Oh, the same, the, same going, you know? the same house, the same house. Yeah, it's the same house. It only has been modified. Okay, okay. But the same yard and everything, you know? All right, so I hope a plaque can go up there or something for, for say. Um, well, actually, we're going to be doing a painting on the wall. Mm. Yeah. Sometimes when they use the big words, some people don't understand. So they're going to put a painting on the wall yeah. to say that he was born right here. Mm. And I figured that later down, a plaque would go up, you know? Yeah, a plaque would be fitting. Short notice, you know? A plaque would be fitting. It's a picture that you never... Um, make um, Lewis and them you let's wait stay after some um, after Regis, Rebel Salute and come join in at the celebration you know well I spoke to commander. actually um, during this quest yeah. it was Ian who had given me uh, numbers of people to call like 
Bobo. Okay. Uh, okay. My lord, up in Mandeville. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Lee took me around, you know, because he knew a lot of people. And from there we met um, a family who was Elliot and Miller. The yeah. man was Miller and the lady was Elliot. Okay. And then they directed us to a man named Mr. Desmond slowly. Okay. And he knew a lot of people. Mm. And then we actually found a house. You know, but it was kind of late in the night. So the next day I went back up and we spoke to Suki, mm. who is the um, the man in charge of the house now, the caretaker. So he called Mr. Reed, who is the now owner of the house. His dad bought the house from Miss Fanny Miller, yeah, yeah, who is yeah. Jacob's grandmother. Yeah. And that's where Jacob got his name, mm. Miller. Okay, okay, okay. That was his grandmother's name, you know? Okay, all right. And the rest is history, you know? Yeah, well, you're really I'm going to hear about that. All of that tomorrow, you know? Yeah, and you, you, you know how them same they do with this cane, he might eat cane and I'm carrying it in truck that is tearing wheel and... Yeah, yeah, that's what they said, yeah. Yeah, and him crash from Wolf Road. Eh? That terrible thing when you did hear him crash low. I didn't remember the day when him crash. Yeah, man, you everybody I mean? who uh, yeah. spoke to them said, why? Well, and he did so young, I mean, I'm 20s, don't it? He did I'm 20s when I'm dead. 27, yeah. Yeah, very young, man. See, and him just did that start, bust out, you know? I think they did already for go bus out now you up to you know them are him and him not circles. In a circle, yeah. Yeah, they did already a big to tour. Yeah, 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 and him just it just gone. Anyway, yeah. anyway we we'll give And uh, the little boy that was in the car that just had died. Yeah. That was stuck, you know, he, he never died, you know. He was unconscious. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to hear all of that, you know? Yeah. All right, right. Yeah. we well, say give thanks, give thanks. Digital Chris. I you know. uh, respect my boss and thank you for the interview yeah, and, and highlight. IRFM. IRFM is doing a wonderful work. Believe you me, yes. a wonderful work. Give thanks. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, man. It is, it is lovely that a real station take that responsibility there to really highlight one of our reggae artists in such a way. Believe you me. When we, see them, when we see them send one program go to Kingston to highlight Dennis Brown. And they will see them send one program go uh Trenchtown um Sunday and they highlight Bob Marley. And we see them send Bully Pawans go down a uh, Westmoreland for highlight Peter Tash. And then we see them send no I mean a good thing that good 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 thing that believe you me good good thing. Click it, click it. I reaffirm I the lick that you, 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 you. Yes. Yel Muta. Blessed man. Yes, Rastafari. No? I, I did. Yes, man. Congratulations to your program, you know, Rasta. Give thanks, man. Yes, man. Like, yeah, the people in my Rasta. All right. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, I don't know why I come forward at Belmont, you know? Yeah, man. I don't know man. I would yes, have the right. I would have the right to me, you know? Yes, sir. Yes. You, you want me to say a while ago? Uh, no, repeat it again, Aya. Me say, I hope you have my rights for me. I don't know who you <laughs> is. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to go with you. 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 Okay, all right. Good times, man. Well, you want to know. Yeah. I step up now, you know. I want to sink into Neesbury and Rice. I wish for that. Yeah. Me yeah. Yeah. Let's, yeah. Yeah, let's get some Neesbury sink into and Rice. And that's my want. I will ask you, man. Let's get love, you know. Yeah, man. Give thanks, man. Give thanks. I will. Yes, may I tell you, Westwell are nice when come out the certain things, you know. Believe you me, Westwell are nice when come out the certain things. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Yo. Hello? Yes. I'm not hearing you clearly. I am hearing you clearly. Okay, on July the 8th, they induced labor in me and me in Mandeville. Hold on, hold and on, hold 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 on. And July the eighth, them induced labor. Right, at Mandeville so Hospital. So how long you did pregnant for before them start to induce labor? Seven months and three weeks. Why them induce labor to you? Why them Okay, do? I went in in July for spotting, right? Mm. And they keep me up until that day. So on the seventh, they sent me to Half Green to do an ultrasound. When I went, the doctor said to me that my placenta. Mm. is low so the baby gonna make his way down 
So they must serve me emer for emergency C-section, which I already told them because I did a free C-section before. Oh, yeah. So in in the night now at 12 a.m. I went to Nest Mullins mm. and I told her that I am bleeding heavily. She didn't answer me to her three times mm. and she never responds. I said to her, can I have a Pepsi and a Royal Biscuit? And she gets up and she go for it. And I said, no, I don't need the biscuit. I just need her attention. Then she took me to the examining room and told me to lift my night and she wanted to see the napkin. Yeah. Then she stopped back after me. You don't know, you know, I've on them napkin. I said, nurse, I don't have baby yet. I just say I have the big belly. She said, I must go down to my bed at bed 24 for my towel and come back. So I went for it and go back to her. She said, I must follow her to the delivery room. I said, nurse, I'm scheduled to do a cesarean. She said to me that she only going to give me a bag of drip because I'm losing a lot of blood till the doctor came. Shortly after the drip, not even a second, the drip ran out so fast. Mm. I start to feel back pain and belly pain. So I said to the lady that I am feeling pain. She said, you know, she said, labor induced. And you said, no, she can't induce labor for me. And I couldn't forget. I'm out of from about 12.15 mm. till 1 o'clock when the baby died. There was no doctor, oh, no yeah, nurse. Yeah, yeah, I want me to beg for help, nurse, man. So I'm not dead yet. I'm waiting till she come off. Hold on, you hold see. on, hold on. But you see, I call people names on the radio. So no, it's a problem. What do you say? Your baby dead? Yeah, the baby dead from inside of me and then them cut me after. Eh? How old is? I'm 35. And it's like your second baby? No, it would, would be my fourth and final baby. Oh, it was your, your fourth baby. So the, the four of them you have this the Syrian. Um, Syrian. Yeah. Uh, four, four, four time? Yeah. Wait there. Four time you're pregnant and four time you have that. Right. But two of my kids is not Jamaican. All right. So wait, what the first time when you go there, why them? Why did have the, the, the cesarean? Um, because they said my passage is too small. And them say the second time too? Same thing. Wow. So this is the first one going to die? Right. Because she induced labor and there was no doctor, no nurse. Ali begged me, begged for help. Yeah. Right, terrible. Uh, so you, 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 you had a tree, you still alive? Yeah, they are still alive. So where the father say no? Where the father? Where are going to do? Say me right go. now, it's putting a strain on my relationship, but I am doing my best to oh, get justice for my son. What do you mean to put, put, put a strain on your relationship? Where the father say? Him not back, him not back check up. that easy and stuff like that. Yeah, but him not help now if he do something about it because that sound like something go on wasn't supposed to go on. So, him not take no action against it or nothing. Well, we are trying our best. But what? But it's kind of hard. When you say it hard, what do you mean? You don't want to get a lawyer, you don't want to want to. We had a lawyer. But before I've been in dialogue with Fenton Ferguson, I've been in dialogue with the the, the CEO the of Mandeville. Wait, you talk to the minister about it? Yes, I spoke with him for months. I've been calling him and each time he would send me back a message that I soon contact you. I soon contact you. That's all I'm getting from him. So when I told him now that I'm going to take legal action, he called me one day and he was like, oh, but let I'm um, get written to in dialogue with you. Mm. Wow, I don't know if I tell you, you know, more than it's a liar, it need for, for deal with that, you know, but so you have a liar again? Yes, I had a liar. No, you had a liar, you have a liar. I have a liar. So what the liar, what the liar doing now for you? Tell me where my do. Okay, she got the medical report recently mm. and she said that, um, She's waiting on a date from Supreme Court. Okay. But deep down inside, I'm still eating out. When you say you eat out, what do you mean? I don't understand. Because somebody who's supposed to try to save life, they're silent killers. Yeah, me know, but when I say, no, but, yeah, but, all right, we pass this on now, so we're going to take action now. So when I say, the lawyer say he's going to wait for a court date. Right. 
Okay. Which 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 part them are gonna have the court hearing? In a Supreme movie? Court. Okay. In a Kingston. Right. Well, well, you have to wait till when, when that date is set for. Tell me. Pardon me. When the date is for? When the date of the court case? I don't get a date yet. Oh, they're going to set a date. Right. Well, I would like you to keep me informed how we go on this all because, it, I mean, you, you're not the only person who are bald away here, you know. As me, I tell you, say, you have people who are going to hospital, you know, and come like say, It's like a fear to go to hospital now. It's a, it is a fear because I always hear people talking how cruel they are. But until I feel it on the 8th of July, that's yeah. when I know that those people are silent killers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That terrible thing I go on. You know, you're you, you the second person call now about the hospital, one from St. and one from Mandeville. And it's a cry we're all over the place, sister. A cry we're all over the place. So, we sorry for you about your loss. I want you to keep me informed of this thing uh, with, 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 with the, the Supreme Court and here we're going here. Okay. Yeah, blessed. Wow. May I tell you, man. Oh. Uh, people are look for wisdom from above. No wisdom that they know above, you know. You have to look into man condition and man consciousness and conscience. Conscience to find that wisdom because a terrible thing I go on. Terrible, terrible thing. Terrible, terrible. Yes, we're going right down, you know. You know, would you buy a bed for 750? Well, 757,000 dollars. Trust me, man. The bed they must secure. You got heaven at night time and come back. Seven hundred and fifty thousand. Sister, you gotta buy a bed for seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> she laugh. <laughs> she laugh. Well, a party them have a bed and sell for seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars in a Jamaica. Yes. Therapeutic, therapeutic mattress. You know, some of them advertise them on TV where the bed you can the softness. And it can it can flip you up like if you watch TV, it's like a cheer. No, but if you buy a bed for seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars, you know, trust me. We supposed to talk to it and get all food from it. <laughs> we supposed to say, "Do make me see." <laughs> yeah, man. We supposed to all have your your, your lady in a bed there and go check all another woman and feel make you feel like your, your lady in a bed there. I'm going to check out another woman and feel, make you feel like say, you're still in the bed with her. <laughs> nah, bed there. Anyway, they have a bed like that still in the Jamaica, you know. Trust me, you know, my bed that still in the Jamaica that way. Really. So, I want you know, say, poor people are going to run, go buy that. You think poor people are easy? Them buy with them want and beg with them need. So, we say, give thanks to the moment and the time and the energy, you know. Give thanks to the way we give thanks to Samantha again. Give thanks to Neil. Give thanks to. I can't remember where his name is now. <laughs> a long time we don't see him. Give thanks to Brian. Brian, they are with him. I'm sure I'm with him brand new Mac computer. Trust me. I tell him, buy one. He tell me all the price. He tell him, I'll take a second buy it. <laughs> and that leak me down glory down with him. I'll take a second and buy it. <laughs> anyway, that's where it go. That's where it go. That's life. And that's life. Yeah, man. And that's life. So, I got to go on with them music, I know, until the news time come up. You know, so we just know, remember, so we have this Department of Sociology, Psychology and Social Work presents a special Black History Month forum entitled Roots Daughters and Dance Hall Divas, examining the politics of ear and beauty for black women in Jamaica. This is happening at the University of the West Indies Neville Hall Centre, and that is tomorrow, February 13th, starting at 7 p.m. Yeah, the time is 5.45, news time. Live at 5.45. 
Good afternoon. It is Thursday, February 12. I am Primrose Oliver. And I am Cherie Hay. From RFM's News Center, here are the headlines. Tufton and Williams to resume sitting in Senate effective tomorrow. Attorney General Patrick Atkinson says opposition Senators Royal Reed and Dr. Nigel Clark can relinquish their seats willingly or be removed through a court order. Ousted Mayor of Port Antonio, Benny White, blames his removal from office on what he calls the deception of party of a party colleague. St. James Parish Council approves motion seeking to silence Councillor Charles Sinclair until he apologizes for comments made at last month's meeting. Students on Mona Campus protest attack on female students.